Good afternoon and welcome to Interview Showcase. My name is Katie Belvo and today I will be interviewing Halifax artist Sharon Hodgson about her career as a painter. Welcome Sharon. Hi. Uh, most children enjoy painting pictures and being creative, but you have been lucky enough to turn this hobby into a career for yourself. How did you make the transition from childhood hobby to full-time painter? Stubbornness. <laughs> I just refused to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so did you know when you were a teenager, a child, like when did you figure out you were going to be doing this for the rest of your life? Well, by the time I was four years old, I had pretty much decided that this is what I wanted to do. So I announced to my parents that I was going to become a professional artist when I grew up. Much to their dismay, they were hoping I'd get into something that, you know, would make a little bit more money and they'd keep telling me things like, oh, you're going to change your mind when you get older, you know, but I never did because I'm really, really stubborn. That's always a good thing, though. Yeah. Um, so you never had any interest in pursuing any other career any, or anything in the arts? Oh, I have an interest in web design, web development, and graphic design, but that's sort of similar to the same sort of thing. Yes. Yeah, so, so you do that as a day job, correct? Yes. And how much of your time do you devote to that, and how much do you devote to your painting? Oh, well, currently I work full-time as a web designer, web yeah. developer, and then on the evenings and weekends I go out and I paint events as they happen. Oh, cool. Um, you're not originally from Halifax. No. You traveled all over with your family. So what made you decide to come here to Halifax? Do you, like, did you know the opportunities that were here? My parents decided to retire to Nova Scotia. They live right outside Yarmouth area in Port Maitland, and I decided to move to Halifax so that I could be near them. Oh, that's and so nice. get to know them a bit better and have you found as an that, adult. Sorry. sorry. Uh, have you found that there's a lot of opportunities out here for artists? You have to make your own opportunities here. With the uh, art college and everything, there's an oversaturation of artists. You have to be really stubborn about it and continue to do what you do and get your work out there and just be persistent about it, and it will happen because it is small enough that you can get to know people. Oh, yeah. Uh, you've done some really cool events around here from you know, painting dolphins uh, and some, even some live works, uh, including one that we actually have right here, um, can you tell us about this specific painting as well as uh, some of your other live sure. paintings? Um, this one here I did uh, at Eye Level Gallery, which is over on Gottingen. I did this one in three hours. It um, is a painting of within the gallery space. I even painted the painting I was painting within the painting. And they put a tag on the wall that said live painting by Sharon Hodson. And when I was finished it and it dried 10 minutes later, I put it up on the wall. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I've done 65 uh, live paintings this year alone. I've done over 100 and mostly wow. of events in Halifax. What, how do you get to go to these events? Do they request you or do you find these events yourself? Or These days, a lot, I get a lot of invites to a lot of different things. It works really great for fundraisers and everything else. But originally, I just would show up and start painting. <laughs> All that. So you, that you weren't invited, but you just did it anyway, and it got people's attention? Yes. Well, yeah. I'd either you know, try and find out who the organizers were and sort of say, hey, do you mind if I sneak in and do this or something? <laughs> or I'd be even more sneaky and just sort of sneak in and start painting and see if anybody stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about getting back to these dolphins that you were able to do. Tell us about that. Oh, I did a I did a dolphin painting for Global Television, and I did another one for the casino, and they're both on the waterfront. Oh, they're both still there. Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, when when it comes to your uh, work, how would you describe your style? Very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> and my live works tend to be done very quickly because yeah. you know they, they te I tend to do them start to finish when the event runs because I'm trying to capture the vibe of the event and I will pull in elements of what I see in terms of people and their motions or behaviors in the room into the work not everything or everyone will make it into there but the painting will be sort of like a figurative depiction of what happened oh it's definitely figurative um, <laughs> <laughs> and I notice you do use a lot of bright colors and I don't think I've ever seen any of your paintings that aren't really colorful. Um, yeah, yeah. If, if you ever go to the eye level gallery, the walls are white. They are not bright, pretty colors like that. That's <laughs> just totally my take on things. <laughs> <laughs> You've also done yeah. a few paintings around the city on traffic boxes and yes. murals. I've done four different traffic boxes. Oh, where are they at? Uh, there's one at Summer and College. There's another one in Burnside. There's another one uh, near the, at Kemp Road. There's another one 
Where was that other one? Joseph Howe. Oh, yes. And what Scott did, Street, yeah. What inspires you to do those? I really like a big format, and I like <laughs> the notion of being able to get this work done rapidly and improve in a neighborhood by bringing a splash of color. Oh, they definitely do bring the spa splash of color. Is there any particular sort of object or type of scene that you enjoy painting? I love gatherings of people. I love <laughs> uh, seeing people interact. I think that uh, Halifax and Nova Scotia art doesn't necessarily have to be tourism focused uh, with just lighthouses and boats and such like that. It, I really take a great interest in the gatherings of people and the things that go on in this city. And I feel like if I do these paintings, I can tell a story visually to the rest of the world by blogging them and letting them know what happens here. So people all over the world have seen your works? Well, I don't know that everybody uh, has, but uh, I do blog every single piece on my website. Oh, that's good. Um, what has been the most fun you've ever had an, at a particular event or a oh. particular place where you've done one of these paintings? I really enjoy festivals. I mean, this summer I did the Jazz Festival, I did the International Buskers Festival, I did the Atlantic Film Festival. I really like the ones that are sort of really hyped up like that and, <laughs> you know, that I, I like. But I'd also like the smaller events. I've been to some that are just really small private parties and those are really fun too in a different way. So I, I guess I get different things <laughs> at a different sort of gatherings. Yeah, I saw the one where you ha you're on a boat and there's a wedding there. Yeah, that was on uh, the, the Tall Ship Silva. I did a, a two-hour painting on a two-by-three-foot canvas of the wedding itself as it took place. Oh, wow. I was up right next to the captain, and <laughs> the wedding couple, they got married right below me, and then all the guests were all on the boat behind me. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you get seasick from that? <laughs> no, no. Actually, I painted on uh, the Murphys in the Water whale-watching tour, though, once, and that one was rocky. <laughs> oh, it sounds like it would be. Yes. <laughs> so do you have any advice for young artists or for little four-year-olds like, that may have been like yourself? Be stubborn. <laughs> be stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get them in the door? Like, what do you... Like, you have to yeah. be persistent. You have to keep doing what you want to do. And mm -hmm. don't let anyone tell you, ah, you got to do something practical. I mean, you do have to have some, a practical plan in mind for how you're going to feed and clothe yourself and... <laughs> It's not, it's not going to be the sort of thing where you can just go to a landlord and say, here, have a painting. You know, that, that, it's not going to work like that. But if you are persistent and you are stubborn and you keep getting your work out there, then people will notice and, it, and you will reap the benefits. Yeah. So what do you th is it your stubbornness that has been the overall key to your succession in the industry? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Getting in there and making sure people do see your work? And, making, and by going on site and doing paintings... Uh, at these different gatherings, I made sure that everybody would see what I was doing and would identify me by what I was doing because that's what they saw. Oh, okay. So what is next for Sharon Hodgson? What can we expect from you now? I'm hoping in the next year that I can get a tour together and paint at events oh, wow. all across Canada. I, I'm not sure what that's going to look like yet. I might not make it further than a few provinces over, but I'm sure going to try. Well, good luck with that. I'm sorry, that's all the time we have for today. I would like to thank you for coming, for coming in today, Sharon. This has been Katie Bellavo for Interview Showcase. Have a fantastic and beautiful day.